YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy, I'll be back with another video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, leave me a comment, share the video, all of that. So as you read by the title, as you see by the thumbnail, we got a special one for you. So this gun show is supposed to be one of the best gun shows in the state of Texas. I know that's a bold statement to make. I know that's a bold statement to make, but y'all know I hit up gun shows all over the country. And this one is supposed to have some of the most premium items. Over 800 tables, over 800 premium tables. A super hard to find rare items. So I'm going to let y'all be the judge when y'all get in there. But y'all know in this game, the early bird definitely takes the warm. So we definitely got to get in there. So y'all boys said back relax make sure you hit that like button and let's get in there so from what i hear they got over 800 tables and only two are non-firearm tables so you know we got to start all the way from the back and make our way to the front so that's how we get that's how we rock it so y'all boys stay tuned so this is a ducks unlimited it is by anaconda it's a 44 magnum very rare the kodiak by colt it's part of the bear series um, again very rare this is a Titanium Anaconda Legacy Edition, one of 1,000 made, 44 Magnum. Okay. Um, this is a Serpentine. It's part of a three-gun set. This is the Serpentine Anaconda. Um, again, they're pretty rare. The most, well, moving here. This is this is a one of 522 Magnum Diamondback. Oh wow! Um. In in case. Actually, I'm sorry, it's 22 long rifle. Don't, don't let me say that wrong. Okay, and this is the actual case that it came in? Yes, it's a, it's a factory case. Okay. Uh, now, moving to here, this is a Python All-American, and that's, that's what makes it so rare, so mm -hmm. it's a standard Python, by Don Ted. Lettered Colt Courier. That is crazy. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure who the engraver is, but the, I, it, this gun looks like it was uh, engraved by possibly the same guy that did the presidential series in, the, in the, what's called Seven Serpents. This is a book that covers all of these guns. And mm -hmm. So, uh, three gun set right here. This is kind of my showstopper. It's called the Legacy Series. And so this is a repeat of the 44 Magnum. The... King Cobra, gold is, is uh, worth its weight in gold. And then this is one everybody's after is called the Rattlesnake. The Rattlesnake. And, and, and the Rattlesnake is a 1911 semi-automatic platform. And as you can see, there was only, I think, a thousand of them made there. One thousand. Of. So this is one of a thousand. Yes. What about this one right here? This is a one of a thousand right there. And this is also one of a thousand, you'll see it there. So this is very rare. Also, these are all the same serial number. So someone went far and wide trying to collect all of these and get Put them all in one place, 47. yeah. Uh, this is a Diamondback and Python engraved set uh, with your gold and black. So full engraved. Um, another unit here. They will send it to your FFL. This is their email. Y'all hit them up because this stuff's not going to last. You're just not going to find this. This is an Eagle. Got a large Grizzly M45 wind mag. Another Desert Eagle. Got a Kimber. Got a Ruger Super Red Hawk Alaskan. Colt. Crazy stuff. Y'all check out this lever action. Tactical lever action is definitely coming in style. It's this. Yeah. F1 farms, but they definitely make quality. And then we have a tactical lever action 3030. Seven, that's not a bad price. Turn around. Got a micro Draco. Got the mini Draco. Um. I think that's the mini too. Difference in those two. We have some odds. Camo and the white. Same price. We have the Chris Vectors. Still can't believe this one is still here. Gilboa Double Barrel AR. Can't believe that one's still here. Spirit Light, Spirit LT, 
this is the big boy. No, that's not it. Where's the, there it is. Chamber, I think this is the 308. Ah, oh, but this one, grip on this one is crazy. I think I can still see clamp it. Yeah, I can still see clamp that. Man, this one is nice. We have FN Scar, that one's in the camo. Regular Scar, this is a 20. No, 17S. I think that was the 20. I was looking at this one. That's the 20 right there. Another 17 in the black. Star pistol. No touching. Got that bad boy right there. And we have to have the 50 BNG. That Barrett. Two HKs. That price tag hiding from that. Oh, somebody hide. Somebody hit it after they read it. All right, guys, who's ready for the first giveaway? Woo and they got the giveaway going on. We got a SP5. MP5. 22. Another one. We have the P90. Another 510, FN57, FN50, Chiapa, the Remington, got a camo block, another 19X. Oh, this pink one. This is 42. This one is tiny. Got a chrome block. 17. They got that. The 19. And that gold. I might, I might be walking off with that one. Do we have the 460? I have the 57. So this is the 57. So y'all can see. Don't come at me too bad. Y'all can see how it looks like that, 22. Is this the 22? Yeah, this is the 22. So, don't give me too much of a hard time. Oh, that gold. The, the craziest amount of Desert Eagles. Got some gold ones there. Then they got that Survival Series. And some gold AKs with the drum. That Chiapa right there. Mr. Daniel Defense ddm 4 b 7 God. What is this? Smith and Wesson, what? What is this chamber? This it looks like a 357, but that barrel is ridiculous. I have no idea what that is. I've never seen that before, and it's heavy. That thing is front heavy like crazy. I'm interested in this one. That front just looks ridiculous. He just told me this is the Smith & Wesson 629 mm -hmm. PC yep. Performance Center. I gotta look more into that. And that yeah, one that's is- That's their newer Performance Center models. Okay, so they're gonna be doing that with all of them? Mm -hmm. Huh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Got a Radian Model 1. Is this in 223 Wild? That is crazy. I, this is the first one I've seen at a show. Yeah, yeah, from Radiant. Mm -hmm. Like they they build them so like in such small quantities. Three thousand. That's a good price. Uh, fourteen five pin and weld. Is this the fourteen five? About sixteen. Sixteen. Big Pro Trade goes. Two of them. Beautiful 1911. Rose gold. And the rose gold block. Okay, we got this US. Could you flip that one around again? So it's a Mexico side. You flip it over and they got the US side. I'm, I'm loving that. That's the crazy. That's good. That's the border. That's the border. That is crazy. That's a really nice one right there. They got some really. Oh, that one's sold right there. Oh, wait. How much you guys asking for that one? 
This one is uh, 20, usually we sell them for 2500, 2600. 2500. And we can custom make it. Look at the, the grip. That frame is crazy. That's 24 karat? They use 24 karat. So we can do rose gold, royal blue, or uh, nickel. That is nice. Yeah, that one is crazy. Take one of these. Right, right, huh? Is this your personal collection? Oh yeah, so this is the all new 86 Blackout by Q. Just released. It's the letter Oh, you ready? Check this out. You gotta get that one on video. You have to. Look at the detail on that. That gentleman actually passed away two years ago, I believe. It's a letter, yeah. That is crazy. That is crazy. If you ever see this jet engraving, the that, actually, that man passed away. Smith and Wesson. Oh. Uh, what are you asking? Yeah, maybe the Seventy-eight. You have the Crimson Trace laser that's on it, also. Okay. Along with that, if you notice the bottom, you can see how it's polished a little bit. Along with the barrel is polished. Okay. Go ahead and rack that slide too. Firm on, on that price? Or no? On that one, yes. Okay. Uh, because the gun itself is $1,000 normally if you're just buying the gun. Uh -huh. That's not include the that work laser. that I've done to it. And the uh, Prince of Trace laser is normally in between three and $400. Okay. So. Yeah. Tech 552. Uh, sight that it's on the top, which is the night vision version, which has the infrared holographic sight. It also has the EOTech battery cover replacement. So you just put in the batteries, put this on, you have the red dot laser mm -hmm. and also an infrared laser. Okay. This it probably also has kicks. a hydraulic buffer that's in the back, a heavier duty spring, slight modification for that kick. The trigger. Yeah. <laughs> so if you use on this the 10 a, round mag, it's a PSA AK. I like the wood on this one, and that looks really good in the camera. I don't think they have a price on it. That's a really good PSA AK out there in the price. Just the Jackal, yep, the Jackal rifle. Um, PSA, Cody Green, side folder. I have it in black too. I like the way this cheek adjustment is. Oh, they have it in FDE too. Black FDE, OD Green. Here's on with those special grips. Taurus, that looks like a Judge. Oh, 454 Casol. Ooh, wee. That is a handful. I haven't seen one of those in a long time. Rossi. Lever. Very, very reasonable. Got a Remington 1911. We got a print Kimber Pro Carry. Really good condition. And then we have. Springfield. This looks like my BBR. Really short. That. 45. We've got supports on top. How much are they asking for that? 799. 45 ACP though. I think that's 10 rounds of 45. Oh, this one is 12. Oh, this one got the big boy ports up top. This one is used? This one is used? That one's kind of cold. I might come back for that one. They definitely got some heat on their table. Really good deal. Comes with the sight. Basically comes with everything. Uh, Kimber, 1911. Got the uh, Garrison. Hang on to that thing. Nice trigger in it. You too.
Got another. A trigger in there, a flat trigger in there. That small stock. That was... You got a Pioneer, Polish AK with the wire stock. A Rossi lever action. Christian Arms. Five six, he ain't five six. I have never seen that. That I thought that was like some type of carbon fiber. The handguard looks good. Good price on the rival. Really good price on the rival. Mente black. Oh. 357 Magnum. Really good grip. So that gives you a really good grip. So you're going to get a good purchase on that one. Oh, Python. Wooden grips. That one's going to be a handful. Henry. See, oh. here's a problem. And we got that Cyclops in 4570. That's going to be a handful. I've been wanting one of these, like, but this is the one shot. But yeah, that one is, that's crazy. I think those are the judges. Is that the 5.7? Oh, that's 20, I always get this confused with the 5.7, but that's the cost on it. Two for it. Smith and Wesson, 575. Comes with flip ups. I bet though. Then we got a Draco. This is the mini Draco, 975. It's a good price, actually. I seen one out for 11. From Michigan, USA. This looks like a uh, HK91. This is Chamberlain. Chamberlain 308. Is it from Century Arms? <laughs> hmm. I've never seen that before. She just finished her new uppers. Okay. So this is their new uppers. Same lockup, same everything? Oh man, uh, you, got, you got better. So you, okay. A more narrow, um, open faced here. Uh -huh. So the actually the expanded show actually shoots straight out. Going to have very little deflection here whatsoever. Really, that is crazy. So this is that's the contact. And then you can see the serial numbers. So this 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 is all match fit. The stock mm -hmm. is match fit to the upper and the lower. They all serial numbers. So you guys build these directly for the lower. Well, well, yeah, they all. This is one group. We built this entire package for this package right here. That's the stock, the upper and the lower from 7075 T6 aluminum. And that's why you're not going to see any white space. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can't even push your detent down. There's no white space whatsoever. Yeah, there is no movement. No rattle, no shaking whatsoever. This is one solid platform. So, it, in case you guys don't know what he's talking about, this is basically the same um, process. Well, I don't know about the ejection port, but yeah, this is brand new right here. The yeah, ejection port. I've never seen somebody much, do that. Yeah, much much narrower than. Okay, so look at this ejection port. You see how wide it is? Uh huh. Okay, so to yeah, this there's ejection port. There's the difference right there. Importantly. More gases are being trapped to ensure in, within the gun to ensure a better feeding system. Super, like the quality on this is ridiculous. Like honestly, they and what's what is what, what are you guys asking? That and the bag and two thirty round magazines. And then you see on the far end over here. This is a ranch rifle. This is a thirteen nine pin and welded muzzle brakes a nine sixteen one ranch rifle. Jeez. So how did the Liver King like his? Oh, he loved it. Yeah? Oh, he loved it. Yeah, they definitely make some quality out here. Ambidextrous charging handle. Is it fully ambidextrous? 
we can make it fully ambidextrous. Okay. okay. We custom, so we can make it fully ambidextrous if you want. Okay. As a matter of fact, we do have a new Defender series where we have the the um, the Defender Andy, which is ambidextrous. Okay. Oh, that one's nice. This one has the bad lever on there. Okay. I love the extended charging handles. You, you yep. can't miss those. And then it's serrated on the left and right. So you the serration for, for the here suppressor. And here. So when you go suppress, the gas is mitigated to left yeah. and right. That's going to be in your face. Guaranteed a half inch, inch MOA, MOA at, at, 100 at 100 yards. Now, is that with specific ammo? No, that was with our standard ammo, whatever the ammo, 62 grain, 55 grain, to 62 grain. Okay. That's wild. That is wild. Panic. Got some bond arms, 410. I think both of them are 410. That's the switch. He's looking for help. This chamber do? Hmm. Might have to get these people's car. It's a nice little gun right there. Oh, Old case Colts. Got a cold hammer forward barrel. Finish on this one is nice. Finish on that one. This one is kind of cold. 4570. Got a trapper. Yeah, Marlin Trapper. Mirror's leg. Got some really nice lever actions. Got a Galil. IWI, the will. This is their number. They have some crazy <laughs> builds. <laughs> they have some crazy builds out here. So definitely hit them up. This is the number. And they have some really tough stuff. This is the lightest. This is the lightest rifle I've ever felt. Ultra light barrel. Obviously, you see what's going on with the handguard, but this is tough. Like I said, they got some, definitely got some crazy stuff. And they ship to FFLs. Check out this Colt. All you do is call them, arrange what you need to arrange, and they'll send it to your FFL. Yeah. Just um, talked to CZ yesterday. Have you seen the comp millimeter and in 45? But may not they have it also? These are what you can only find at shows. The hard to find. Hard to find out of production guns. We got a Prodigy. It's a full size. And are they both the full size? Or is this the four and a quarter? No, I think they're both full size. How you doing today? I'm doing well. How you doing? Good. Yeah, work on that Glock. Golden barrel. Do you know if that um, barrel is titanium nitrite? I'm sorry? Do you know if the barrel is titanium nitrite? Um, I'm not sure, to be honest. This one, what do we have here? Uh, this is the Wild Arms XTR V2 okay. AR pistol. And Wild Arms, that's, that's your brand? The Wild Arms is our brand. Okay. Uh, we manufacture ourselves. We do everything in-house. Machining, the coating, the building, uh, everything is done in-house. Uh, this is what it comes with. Typically, you get a uh, soft case for the pistol. Sometimes we do hard cases for the rifle. Uh, two 32-round mags. Uh, here for the show, giving you a free sling, and then you get one of our awesome nice hats. That's a value fit. right there. Uh, and all, what are these running at? Uh, all for twelve ninety nine here that at the is show. Crazy. If you come see us at the show, uh, a little bit more expensive online, but we we do free shipping. 
uh, to most states. Uh, there's a few that we don't ship to, New York, California, okay. only because they don't allow our stuff there. But. So the better cost, and that the better cost applies for like all your rifles, correct? Yes. So you get the better cost when you come to the show? Yes. Okay. Yeah, it's always best if we get to see you in person, we get to get our brand out there, we get to tell you about all of our nice products. Okay, uh, okay. And the fitment, y'all, I check these out. The fitment on them is just not too bad, honestly. Little to no play on the uppers and lowers. Yeah, and like I said, everything's upgraded. Three and a half pound match trigger. Uh, everything on it's full ambidextrous, left and right handed. Even the fire safety selectors is 45 instead of the full 90 for just click and go. Okay. Uh, we have the built in ambi bolt release built into the lower. That's uh, cool. Ambi charging handle, flip up sights with the built in fiber optics. Really? That's a value right there, honestly. And how much is this one? Uh, these are twelve ninety nine for the pistols and thirteen ninety nine for the rifles. That's a that's a value. That's a good value. And we have right them there. on sale right now for fourteen ninety nine on the website. Uh, if someone calls and tells me they saw on your show or on your channel uh, from the gun show, I'll still honor the price if they just call me first. Okay. So if y'all call, where's the card at? So there's a number. If y'all call and say OB sent y'all, y'all can get the value that he said right now at the show. So y'all boys hit them up. They got some heat. They definitely got some heat. And those are the same price. These are the same price. And these are the same value. That is crazy. Really good value. So y'all gotta tell them OB sent y'all boys. Taurus. That Taurus, that chrome Taurus. I'm doing well. How are you doing? Doing pretty good. Yeah. No. Nah, well, just kind of looking around right now, right, seeing what I don't ahead. have. That's a dark side. Got a Canic rival and their whiteout signature series. Got a Tommy gun. bunch of mirrors legs black and the gold finish tactical skeleton we got a desert eagle 58 a grizzly is that a lot that's a lot grizzly huh that's a lot grizzly yeah the grizzly yeah 45 wind mag that is the rossi it's hard to follow up that that revolver table is this the AP5? Yep, AP5. So, an LWRC DI, comes, factory new, comes with everything you see on it. And a bulletproof vest, hat, you get the bag, you get the shirt, everything you see on it, brand new, everything on it is brand new. Everything you see on it is brand new for three. 3k you get everything you see on this they're like just out the box ready to go with everything brand new like di lwrc come on now you can't beat that and it's ambidextrous everything as you see they also have the tactical lever action everything you see on it everything you see on it like this is the benefit of coming to the shows so this dude is basically trying to bring back the good deals at the show. So y'all check this out. So you see that AUG right there? You grab that AUG, you get that pistol for free. Like that is, that is what you come to shows for. So I'm really liking his mindset on this because this is, you don't see this anymore. So that's why I said, this is gonna be one of the craziest shows. 
I don't know why. Squaw is 12. I shot everything first. Both Taking shot squaws. I actually shot the competition. Yeah. Rock Island. I don't know. Arsenal. Yeah. Still playing That OD Green Kanek 547. You cannot beat the value of what you get from Kanek from everything they offer with their firearms. Yeah, my wife and I solely do this for fun. You know, most people do this as a living. We're well off. I mean, that's not to brag or anything. It's just normal. we invested right when we were young. American so classic. These are these are actually surprisingly really good um, pistols. I have one that chambered in 10 millimeter. I think this is this is a nine millimeter. So I know they make a 45 ACP, they make a nine millimeter, and they make a 10 millimeter. So I do have the 10 millimeter. This one is actually a hard chrome finish. So it's a really durable finish on this. So really nice, slept on. And for $6.99, this is a really good deal. 545. 45 ACP, as y'all know, 18 rounds of 45. You really can't beat that. And then the 10 millimeter right next to it, 22, I think 22 plus one of 10 millimeter, tactical, um, suppressor ready, I mean, threaded barrel. And it does have the sight protector in the back and there's optics ready also. And it comes with these mags, like don't, you can't beat that. Got a 509. Then you have a reflex. Then you have a 502 tactical threaded barrel. Optics ready. Presser high sight. Oh, no, it's the black on black sights. Personally, I know a lot of people who like these sights. Personally, I would have, the, you know, a higher vis front sight and the blacked out rear sight. So, got the Ruger 5.7. That one came second between my Smith and Wesson. The next to it, Springfield. So many people is telling me to review this one, and it seems like everybody has already got their hands on it. I'm just kind of late to the party, but this is everybody telling me that's a game changer right there. And he's doing it with the Surefire and the Hall of Sun. That's, and these are all brand new, factory new. The CZ over there. This thing is hard. This thing is hard. Victor Comp. Extra mag holder. Yo, that's that is tough. That is super tough. It's just a mag holder though. It's just a mag holder. Then we got the macro. That's the macro. Yep, that's the macro. Okay, then you can get 10 millimeter. A lot of people slept on this one. Oh, I think that's is that the 10 millimeter? No, that's a nine millimeter. But a lot of people slept on Rock Island's 10 millimeter. They were one of the first ones to the 2011 game, especially chambered in 10 millimeter. And a lot of people really kind of slept on that gun. Oh, this looks like my BBR. BBR, there it is. Ported, is it ported? I can't see. But yeah, basically a double stack 45 ATP small 1911 platform. And we have the Ivor Johnson chambered in 45 ACP, and that's actual 24 karat gold. You cannot beat that. Look, ooh, look at that, and it's ported. Good price for that. And you guys have to check out the tactical lever actions that they got up here. Regular one. They definitely. I told you, like this show, premium tables. Off of it. The DP12, they got some super nice shotguns. Got the chainsaw, I think that's some Shockwave 590. Not sure. The one above it that has the heat shield on it. That one looks, I think that might be a PTR. P90. And they got the Sugar Weasel. Review coming soon on that. Look at that with the grenade launcher. Yeah, that looks tough. 
That looks tough. And you got the Max, Masterpiece Arms, in case, you know, I got a little something for everybody. APF, American Pristine Firearms. I've never heard of them. A Beretta. Brand new box. So everything on this table is going to be brand new, just in case anybody had any questions about that. come with the sights too like that's that's a game changer right there